Mary is the type of person that if you needed help, she could be in the middle of Africa at a board meeting for the International Board of Habitat for Humanity. And the first thing that she would write back to you in an email would be, when can we talk? How can I help you? Or she would connect you with somebody that could really help you move forward. She's been a CEO of three very substantial private companies. She's been a deputy minister in two provinces. She sat on over 40 boards, including numerous boards that she chairs. She leads with integrity and with commitment. She has an amazing knack to bring others along with her. And I think she thrives in environments that are unusual and challenging and complex and have issues that need to be dug into, understood, thought carefully about as we figure out how to respond. From my perspective, it doesn't really matter what it is the company does. She's able to come in, assim assimilate herself to uh, you know, the business and contribute. She's uh, able to grasp the situation and provide educated uh, feedback on the situation. She knows when to push forward and gain momentum. She has a great sense of when the individuals need perhaps a pause and they need time to consider and think about the implications and determine the right path forward. And she knows what to bring at a particular time. And I think that's a big part of what makes her successful. Mary has this capacity just to condense the problem down, bring a sense of calm to the scenario, and let everyone focus on what really mattered. Her Habitat for Humanity work has always been so inspiring and impressive, and um, she's contributed so much at the, the local level. She stepped up as Chair of Habitat Edmonton. She then stepped up as Chair of Habitat Canada and now is serving as the Chair of Habitat for Humanity International, which is the global organization, 70 countries. And I believe she's the first Canadian to do it. And she's been asked to keep doing it, uh, which is a real credit to her. She's got the humility to step back and say she doesn't know everything. She brings wisdom to the table and she's got tremendous caring. Like you can just see that she's got a compassion and a will to win. And uh, for, for us, I mean, it's, uh, it's left an amazing blueprint for whoever takes over for her uh, to get on the governance committee. Um, and, you know, the example that she uh, gives us at every meeting is uh, ultimately something that we all can strive for. She's the epitome of lifelong learning and putting herself into situations that really challenge her. She looks for those situations. She doesn't back away from them. And I think that's the thing that I admire about her most. I think if there's one thing I've learned from Mary, it's to be brave and to put my hand up and say, I'd like to try that. Mary, it is an honor for me to, on behalf of hundreds of thousands of Habitat families and staff and volunteers around the world congratulate you on this much deserved honor. I cannot overstate enough that how much you've you've helped uh, guide our company. My friend this is such well-deserved recognition congratulations and enjoy it all.